gravel in my throat. You could hear it in that raw impression. I've got a lot to left. I've got kind of a like a cauldron of lava. Does that mean it's dry or it's cauldron of lava? That's like the that's a ter- <laughs> it's a terrible title. Oh my goodness. Well, what does that mean with your voice? My voice has texture right now in, Why? The, in the form of mucus. Oh, you have mucus. I have mucal buildup. Remember we were talking about that, that that could just be a physical inherited trait of mine. Oh. Remember? Uh-huh. That time? I am now, yes. Mm-hmm. Yesterday. Correct. Yep, I'm there. I'm there. I really didn't need to bring that up. <laughs> a lot of times I really do want to bring up mucus and... Poop. So you're saying you have a lot of phlegm right now in your chest or in your throat or? I don't know. It's like, I don't know where that, I generalize it just like, yeah, my throat sort of, but towards, I don't want to talk about where my mucus is coming well, from. Well, I just want to say maybe it's allergies. Maybe it it's is. allergies. Oh, it definitely because is. The, the seasons, they are changing. They are for real changing. Yeah. I think, I think, it's I happening. think this is it. Like the you, change is happening. You suggested I put the snowblower away like two months ago and I said, nope. And it did snow. It did. <laughs> but now, I think I think it's almost time to put put the snowblower away. I was going to ask you, should we put the snowblower away before we go to Los Angeles? But then I thought, are you going to say no? I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to snow. I'm going to put it away. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm putting it away. Let's do it. Yeah. Bye-bye, snowblower. I only... We only hung out a couple times this year, snowblower. I was looking at the forecast for next week when we're in Los Angeles for here in Greenfield. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're going to have a lovely spring break, April break. It's going to be in the 70s. Well, good for them. Good for us. Yeah. You know? So I think that it it probably is time to to put the snowblower underneath the deck and carry on with spring. I'm ready. Me too. Me too. So what else is new? What else is new? Yeah. Well, What's um, happening? I got a little bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> is it the surprise that I'm not really allowed to hear about that you and Izzy are doing such a wonderful job at hiding in front of me? <laughs> well, I forgot that we had the secret last night. I got her in on the secret. Well, she came and told me in the bedroom, she said... I'm going to go into daddy's office, but I'm not going to bother him. I'm just going to hang out in there quietly. And you know what? I believed her because I was like, oh, she's wanting to, she's really wanting to be near you. Um, yeah, she had the whole story worked out. And I'm, <laughs> because I was like, we'll keep this secret from mama because I want to surprise her. Mm-hmm. I want to surprise mama. So she really took that seriously. As of this morning, I forgot. You that forgot about I forgot this about agreement. our, our I know. ruse. I forgot about the whole <laughs> thing. And she was still holding on to it like, no, dad, mama doesn't know. And All I did not jam is, with you last night. She's like, I didn't jam with you yeah, last and I was night. Like, I was like, what are you crazy? You did jam with me last night. Yeah, because you were like, oh, Izzy, we jammed together last night. And she's like, no, we didn't. We did not jam last night. And I kept I kept going, <laughs> yeah, we did. But then I'm not realizing she was simply trying to follow through with, with plan, your plan. With my plan. I know. My plan. She was, her face was desperately getting more desperate. She was like, dude, you've, I know. you've lost it. We come back. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, good. <laughs> Where the dreams are here forever to stay Take a walk down memory lane Where the dreams are here forever to stay So take a walk down memory lane Where the 
dreams are here forever to stay. Take a walk down memory lane. A laugh at the jokes you forgot to say. Take a walk down memory lane. Think about the problems that you probably made. <laughs> it's gonna be a brutal day. Where the dreams are here forever to stay Take a walk down memory lane Where the dreams are here forever to stay Take a walk down memory lane Song written by Izzy Barlow Yep, melody, all those lyrics Everything (laughs) I don't know if that came through uh, the one line which is amazing It's my favorite, which is Today is going to be a brutal day. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you could hear brutal, but in case anyone else missed that. but I thought it really leaned into brutal. Oh, really? Brutal. <laughs> I, used my, I used my gravel. Brutal. I don't know if it, yeah. But so we, well, it's funny because, you know, kids are always watching and listening, even when we think, oh, they're not paying attention because they're sort of, seeming preoccupied while the adults are talking right Mm. they're still taking in well some of them are she's one of those people (laughs) who's making note of everything and uh so we went out to uh a lunch on the weekend with lou's sisters and um his mom we did like a little family kind of brunch thing um and it happened to be one of those brunches that happened where you kind of like reminisce about certain things or you're talking well, sure, about we, my childhood. sister my sister was up here from dc yeah. we're yeah. not we we're not often together really so we a were all times together a year she yeah. she comes up and she we does, get but, together right but, but we were all there and my mom sitting next to me and uh you know the conversation starts to turn to memories yes memories the good old days when times were bad <laughs> You know? It's a Dolly Parton song, and uh, and it's a, such a poignant poignant song, by the way, if you've never heard it. But uh, so anyway, yeah, she and Izzy was there, you know, quietly kind of eating her hot dog and her French fries and uh, coloring in the the little paper that they gave her, and and you know she could have either been completely in her head or paying attention, right? And she turns out, of course, she was clocking everything. And then just at dinner the other night, she was like, did she just start singing? Let's take a walk down memory lane. She did. And and I, I, she just, she was singing it, you know, it was, yes, she'd been singing it for a little while. Yeah. And we were like, what is this about? Where, where did this come from? Because usually we ask her like, where'd you hear that? And it's usually Taylor Swift or Casey Musgraves. It's one of the two. But this time she was like, what did she say? It's I was like, "Did is that a Taylor Swift song?" She goes, "No," and I'm like, "Did you make it up?" And she nodded. Oh yeah. And then she started like adding verses, verses to it, to the chorus. Oh, and then she told me, "I said, wow, where'd you get that? Let's take a walk down memory lane." And she said, "From you. You said it at lunch." Right. We and were, I didn't even remember saying that, but we were, we were swapping some childhood stories that were, you know, a little on the dark side, right? Yeah. A little bit. Um, a little bit of a dark family conversation. And uh, you said, you know, sarcastically. Right. It's a walk down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you... Um, right. You know, and it's interesting because like, uh, you know, my my siblings and I and, and siblings in general, we all have different stories of, of how, what ha- what transpired in, in, in the past. Sure. But we were we were reminiscing about um, moving from Michigan to Massachusetts in 1978, mm-hmm. and how intense it was because the house that we moved into in Massachusetts was like actually really fucked up. Like my parents bought the house, and then we realized things like carpenter ants had eaten half of the house. Um. The woman that lived there before the the mother was deeply depressed. I don't know why we knew this. 
but mm. but there was black but the whole theme of the house was black and red there was black countertops oh really wow like red drapes i've been to this house uh my mother yeah. my mother actually kind of renovate like renovated or restyled the house on her own throughout the 20 odd years that they lived in that house but when we first got there it was a bit of a mind fuck we had just moved moved from michigan yeah. Into this house. <laughs> With the dreams of Keith forever to stay. So take a walk down memory lane. With the dreams of Keith forever to stay. You bought a dress for the hundred bucks. Then you think it really <laughs> sucked. Take a walk down memory lane. Dreams are here forever to stay. so great <laughs> remember that verse oh my gosh yeah well she just then started riffing and saying these just funny verses and stuff and um yeah we were like dang these are great these are great we should write this down and uh so yeah you did you were writing writing it down and then you guys didn't jam last night but you did and we did we had a secret jam that mama mm -hmm. was the not so secret jam the not so secret jam because <laughs> our bedroom is right next to you at this room and so of course i heard it but. and she was going to sing the i bought a dress for a hundred bucks found out it really sucked but she didn't want to say sucked she yeah. did not want to say it so she said daddy i'll spell it like and so she did but um. i I, I didn't capture it, unfortunately, Bless. but she's, she was like, then I say S-U-C-K-E-D, and I'm like, what is she saying? Like, like, I wasn't even putting it together that she was spelling out the word sucked, and she said, because I can't say that. Oh. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to spell it. Mm, that was really cute. I liked your song. Oh, you think it's over? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's gonna keep coming in and out. That's fine. Yeah, there's that's a, fine. Um, there's a there's a oh. <laughs> <laughs> surprise. There it is again. Take a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> a Lego set for twenty bucks. Take a walk down memory lane. Then you never play with it. <laughs> Take a walk down memory lane. Don't get stuck on the bad stuff, yeah. Again, more mm. more of her lines. Although the I was last say, one, are those her lyrics? Not the last one. The don't get stuck on the bad stuff. Yeah, that was that was me. Mm. That was for me. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go down memory lane, but don't get stuck. You know, yeah, keep going, keep going. Just it's okay to reminisce sometimes, yeah. and then move on. That's my mess. <laughs> that's the message I want to do in part in the song. Yeah, um, that's funny. I wonder what that's like, family to family. If uh, people have the relationship with their parents where maybe they're not allowed to talk about family memories it could be like we don't talk about the past even you know whatever um i think that that's definitely part of some families and yeah we, I, i'm sure that it's ended with uh the police with a lot of families like oh, oh god like Remember? don't start talking about that yeah, do not bring up the time oh no your dad put the hot dogs on the grill and blah blah what yeah, How dare you? Don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. Yeah. I have I have found that usually when I bring up a story from my childhood, my mom always says, I just don't even remember that. How do you even remember these things, Adele? And as a parent now, I don't blame her because it is so, you do, you just forget there's so much. And you're just, you know, when you're a parent, in some ways, you're just kind of like, 
juggling the, I want to be present and I want to like feel this moment with just, I'm surviving this, this phase or this moment or this hard time or, and even if it's great times, it's just, it's a lot, you know, and um, I forget things like I forget, oh my gosh, it could make me cry. Like I forget what was Izzy even like when she was two and three. Hmm. Well, we do, you know, now in the age of uh, smartphones, we have plenty. You have some glimpses, although I have to say, I did not video Izzy as much as I would have liked. But then again, you know, it's like, what do you do? You sit there with your camera on your kid all the time videoing them? Yeah, I guess. And and that's fine. And people have been videoing their families with not just smartphones, but whole camcorders and stuff forever. And it's an interesting thing to document your life. It's an interesting way to do it. Um, and like you guys did it with cassette tapes a lot growing up like you would your family would put a cassette recorder down and yeah, record a party or Christmas. something let's yeah. record it yeah <laughs> you guys a, were like early uh, oh my god i mean i, I, I yeah I ha- documenting I have, of the the I, family i think i have a cassette of like christmas 1979 the you year don't that know after we in massachusetts and uh probably in the 80s it's intense <laughs> I mean, because take a uh, walk down memory lane part well, two. Yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll dig it up. I mean, you, you have that to look forward. You might to. have to vet that with the family before you raw uh, impressions, <laughs> listeners. I, 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 that will like my uh, my sisters and I destroying Christmas carols, <laughs> and just my mother was just beside herself laughing. Oh. But it was actually at this very difficult time. Her mother had passed away, and mm. um. It was. Where the dreams are here forever to stay. Take a walk down memory lane. Laugh at the jokes you forgot to say. Take a walk down memory lane. Think about the problems that you probably made. It's gonna be a brutal day. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. This could benefit from some drums, you know? Some like really just bass, drums, guitar, just really flesh it out <laughs> is this this is the beginning of, of an epic <laughs> an epic jam <laughs> <laughs> she came up 10 with 10 minute all too well version <laughs> yeah she came up uh, <laughs> she came up with the take a walk take a walk i mean i was listening back to what we did did last night because I, I sat her down in, in in your chair last night and Aww. And we were there for like, she was kind of like, she was sort of like, didn't seem like she was into it so much or she didn't really want to be taking direction. Mm. Cause I was like, I knew the song. I, I'm like, look, she'd made up the song, mm. it had the verse, it had the chorus. Um, but she was more in, interested in like making up new lines and like moving on from, mm. you know, and it was, I, I did have the thought, I was like, this is kind of like being in an indie band, you know, like every, yeah, <laughs> it's like, she does it's like, kind I want to move a, on, man. Yeah, yeah, we've done this already. <laughs> we did this, we already practiced that, I don't want to do it, let's move on, you know, like just that, that, uh, yep. that early 90s uh, sort of impatience and moving on, and, <laughs> and, and so it really reminded me, it reminded me of that. And, um, but yes, yeah, so she, she came up with a little, I really, it's, it's a, a fairly faithful representation of, of her, her words. Yes, her it is. Sentiment, it is. It's basically what melody. she said at the dinner table. Although I thought there was a couple other lines in there that were really good too. There were. Yeah. I tried to remember. I remembered as much as I could. Yeah. You know. Dang. I love that one though. What's it? Um, we should laugh. have recorded her. <laughs> We should I mean, have been recording. She's her. the kid that uh, is very pro <laughs> social media. <laughs> so, you know, she keeps. Did you put that on Instagram? Put Post this, post this. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't really need to post like, you know, 50 pictures of your baby dolls and like the new family portraits that you took. And, but, you know, she, uh, we'll see how long it lasts. She's only eight. So. I think when kids kind of like hit uh, the tween years, that that relationship can change. But anyway, she that one line, which is uh, 
laugh at the joke you forgot to say. That's the one that stuck out when we were at the table. We're like, what did you just say? <laughs> laugh at the jokes you forgot to make? No, you forgot to say. Laugh at the jokes you forgot to say, and I'm, which I thought was a really... It's funny. It's a funny image because I could just, yeah. I, I was like, I feel like I've done that. Mm-hmm. I feel oh, like I've yeah. laughed. Like my kids will, you know. It's your aftermath where you're like, oh, I should have said that. The kids will be like, uh, especially the two older ones will be when I'm in the car with them. I'll just laugh and they'll be like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing at the jokes you forgot to say. I'm laughing at the thing I forgot to say to the <laughs> yeah. person at the at the supermarket. Right. You know, because that's me. Because I, after going, I do this sort of internal uh thing after I, I have a social interaction, mm-hmm. I will then replay the whole thing in my mind. Yes. <laughs> and sort of react to it. And, yes, yes, yes. You know, like, well, I'll leave a store and the kids will be like, what are you laughing at? And I'm literally <laughs> thinking, I'm laughing at... You're re- recreating, re- right? <laughs> recreating the conversation. And maybe yeah. even thinking of something funny I could have said. Yes. But I forgot to say. Or, well, you, or you couldn't think of it in the moment, I couldn't right? think of it in the moment. Yeah. I couldn't think of it in the moment. So. Yeah, that's what I, I have. I have the, and I'm sure a million people do, but the after like, aha, uh-huh, I, I should have said that. That would have been really clever and, and really good. That was kind of... Or the, really brutal. That was sort of the most <laughs> agonizing part of starting a podcast was like listening to a conversation, listening to the actual recording and going, I should have said that there. Mm. And then just uh, learning to forgive myself mm-hmm. for not being quite as sharp and on the moment as I wished I could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. Well, at least a podcast is another, um, you get to keep trying again the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> you get another shot at it. It's true. They're just, you get another the- shot at those hurdles. You just get to keep trying to jump them and, you know. <laughs> I'll see if you'll make it to the end. And oh man, I think I hear the rain outside. It sounds like it's raining. I can kind of hear it in my headphones. Oh yeah. Yeah. Should I? Oh yeah. It- yeah. I hear it. Yeah. It was a little. It was a little dreary today. It's a little drippy out there. A little drippy. Oh gosh. Yeah. Our our roof. I hope our roof is okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have holes in our roof, and we're getting a new roof. We already talked about that. So yes, we've we've signed the paperwork. We've signed off our life. We're we've committed. I got to empty the buckets before we go to LA. You yeah, know, make we're sure leaving nice soon. Make sure there's nice big empty buckets up there. I think we're. I think I'm up to like four to five buckets. Oh gosh. <laughs> positioned yeah. strategically in our wonderful attic. We we love our home. Which it's will a great be home, it will be saved by yes. this a new roof. Yeah. We're not getting a new deck, but we're getting a new roof. Gosh. I'm gonna feel good about it. I, I am too. We're I am putting too. Putting a nice nice hat back on this house. Yeah, I know. The hat's broken, so it needs to it's, it's it needs broken. a new hat. It's true. It's true. So you gotta do that. It's just like okay. It's not very exciting, but it's extremely necessary. And you got to do it. So, yeah. What's up? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. But so we're we're leaving for Los Angeles in just a couple of days. Oh, okay. I can't talk about that. <laughs> Am I packing? I'm already starting my pre-packing. We've already talked about that, too. Oh, I can talk about that all day long. Doot, doot, doot.